Hey y'all, it's uh, Nick the Paladin here. Uh, just wanted to make up uh, another video uh, just to kind of follow up on uh, the suggestions I made in my previous video uh, and just kind of display it. Uh, again, if you run your uh, random skirmish and dungeon and get Seals of the Wild, you can get the uh, four armor pieces for 1600 item level. Um, you can get from the Seals of the North running uh, your random advanced dungeon um, and you can just get the uh, Ally Grand Alliance you know uh, armor uh, main weapon and offhand weapon um, I did find out once I got them that these are not bound to account or character so these could be on the auction house I've seen them as low as for certain classes, 200k, and I've seen them go up all the way to about 700k for certain classes. So you may just want to look on there if you're more feeling rushed to get some item level. It could be a good avenue to go. Um, I bought the side on this side just from the auction house. Um, the rings are very dirt cheap, like a thousand AD. The pants and the shirt are about a thousand AD. And the Undying set is um, about 200. Uh, it just ebb and flows. It could be all the way up to 400, I've seen, and higher. But it's something just to kind of be an option to look for if you think it's low enough. I think it's a very good uh, neck and waist uh, set to have just to get your item level up really good. Um, the artifact is great, um, but when you're trying to just get your item level up, spending 700000 for the artifact is not worth it. Um, but what you, again, like I keep saying, is you're just trying to get item level gains here. Um, I'm at pretty much 42.8k right now, but let me move this down. So I just want to demonstrate that real quick that if you have lower rank companion summoned or your mount uh, slots are on lower rank abilities, then it affects your item level. So truly just trying to have the highest summoned companion because of your item level contribution and then your summon companion f uh, affects your purple slot here. Uh, so with those two combined, you lose quite a bit of item level. And then if I have on both of these slots the highest item level, again, you're just trying to find gains here. So um, just having one companion in, can affect both of these, or one mount can affect both of these. So I have a legendary. And then at that point, like I said, I'm at 42.8K. Uh, so I get about... A thousand, like it looked like a 1.7 uh, K increase right there for just having the highest ranking companion and mount summoned. Um, but I really just wanted to kind of recap that and just kind of show you the outline and how high I can get. Uh, like I said, when I first started in my last video, I was at 28 K item level, so. Uh, just truly having all of my enchants and everything like that for my companion enchant and my uh, enchantments here so um, just doing your daily grind as you're doing your dungeons and um, I'm going to go more into what the daily grind will be um, but it is doable because you can trade in for like I said in my last video the uh, green uh, enchantments you can go to the sage shop here in Protector's Enclave and you can uh, get all greens in here to, to increase your item level I saved up quite a bit of AD prior to this uh, just because this was a new guy um, so this cost me 800k and then this cost me about 400k so um, it's definitely a little bit of a uh, buy, but like I said before, it's definitely 
eight hundred thousand is definitely worth the four thousand item level increase. Um, but I really just want to spend the rest of the video uh, just kind of talk about ways to help improve you uh, your character still and maybe ways to be more effective and what I usually do for a daily grind um, to try to uh, just kind of help you all best I can. So um, what your really your goal is to try to get to 50k so you can do all content here. Um, so at 50k you can do any kind of Reaper's Challenge. Not saying you'll survive, but you know, it's you at least have the option to do Reaper's Challenge and feel like if you're wanting to take the you know, take the fun chance. Um, but uh, ways to get there, um, if you didn't have the Undying Brooch set like I do, uh, it's definitely a good way to get it up. Um, if you are Part of a guild, you need to utilize the guild boons. Uh, if you're rank, if you have a, if you're inside of a rank 20 guild, you can get 3,000 item level this way. So I would be at 45.8 if I was part of a level 20 guild. Um, this character is a test dummy, so uh, we're trying to be bare bones on um, not making these characters be OP and rather just try to be resourceful. So I'm trying to be very resourceful <laughs> doing this. Um, but you can be easily in a level 20, you know, guild and be at 45.8. A very, uh, another effective way to increase your item level is your mount collars. So, um, I just fill in some blanks right here because the greens are pretty cheap and then uh, that was just filling in the blanks that I didn't have. Uh, if you type in epic and you go to uh, mounts and to all mounts, right now uh, the uh, mount epic mount collar pack is going for a actually really good price. Um, for me, again, it would cost you, if you had zero, you know, a million, but that each one of these collars is 600 item level. So you could get a 3,000 item level increase. Do note that you can only have one of each category. So there is practical, uh, unified, wayfaring, sturdy, and supportive. So do know when you're selecting your option that you cannot have duplicates of any of these categories. You only have one of each. So, and you need to have a mount that's able to be the same level. So if you have, um, if you have all epics, you need to have epic or higher uh, mounts to hold them. So that's something to count, but uh, epic mounts do not go uh, you know very much at that point so you could uh, definitely replace your other mounts just for those increases right there um, so getting for me personally I would have a 1400 item level increase from changing everything to epic so right there would be uh, 3000 from the guild boon so in a 1400 from that so 4.4 increase um, then my a companion gear I bought these because I cannot go to Undermountain uh, or at least complete Undermountain so um, I went to the auction house and just bought these uh, old companion gear from there but if you complete un if you complete under mountains camp uh, campaign you can do master expeditions you can get 1010 gear if you start the Sharandar campaign you're over 40k you can try to do the bounties and you can try to attempt to get 1300 item level uh, companion gear like I keep saying you're not really looking for the 
let me find what's best for my build. You are just trying to get to 50K. And then once you're there, you can start seeing what your build needs to be. Um, but if I increased my all of these gears to 1300 item level, that's a thousand item level right there. So I'm at 5.4. So for uh, so far, having an item level increase. If I upgraded my companion to mythic and my mount to mythic, that would be um, about a thousand item level each from that. So we're um, because then I'd have the highest slotting uh, abilities from there, and that would increase with me and a mythic would increase my item level contribution. And the same thing would be for the Mythic. I would have the highest slotted uh, companion in for my Mythic uh, companion. So I am at, um, what, like 7.4. So uh, that would be, what would that be right there? Let's do the, let's pull the calculator. You can't see me pulling out a calculator, but let's just 17.4. Sweet. So I would be... Um, I would be at a 7.4, yeah, so I would be right at above uh, 50k. So, uh, those right there would be the easiest ways for you to get your item level above. I know some of you would be like, how do I get the companion upgrade tokens and how do I get the mount upgrade tokens? Um, I will say that the best way to get the companion upgrade tokens is to do Juma and Balanhas. If you haven't heard of Juma, if you haven't done Balanhas at all, uh, please go watch my other video. If this explanation doesn't make sense, I go in way more detail on what to do. I'll have the video in the link on the description of this uh, video right here. But just to kind of give a recap, uh, if you have done Juma, is uh, you should be doing the, quite a bit of that campaign so you can unlock the Insurgents and you can do Bell Runs. Uh, those two would be definitely huge, but just mainly going and doing the Insurgents or Ape Runs. And uh, each day, just you can do it on an alt character if you have an alt character that has it, but if you can resist when you see the uh, icon appear, There'll be where it says press Control F to claim your prize for doing the heroic. Just if you can resist the urge, if you start right now, and there is a uh, double currency for Descendant of Avernus on March 10th for 40 days, and you do, uh, if you can go into Valenhaus, see when the next insurgent's going to be, go in, do three clears that uh will be a hundred uh if you claim it right then it would be a hundred um currency towards uh juma but if you wait for the double it'd be 200 so and if you just did that every day just the 20 minutes that it takes to do an insurgence and just kind of coattail and if you didn't do damage and just kind of coattailed um you could have quite a bit of Juma bags build up right there if you just did that starting now or whenever and just try to, you can, you can go much harder if you want, if you want to get even crazier, but Juma can just drop everything. So, and I did 20 bags the other day and I got 20 um, uh, companion upgrade tokens. So for a free way to get companion upgrade tokens, Juma is your guy. But if that doesn't really make sense to you, please watch my video. It'll be in the link. Um, but that would be an easy way to get companion upgrade tokens for free. Mount upgrade tokens is a little bit different. Uh, they mainly come from dungeons, and this would be a big thing every day. You need to be checking the Reaper's Challenge, and you need to see whenever it's a 30 k item level or a 40k item level since that's what probably you'll be at right now and you're trying to get to the goal of 50 um, you need to try to see if it's able in your wheel to do that reaper's challenge um, 
because if you get a completion, and we'll just say you get 10 clears, you've done it 10 times, it came up, you can go to the store and you can trade for one currency and get 25 trade bars. If you did 10, you got 250. If you're trying to be very not spending money, then uh, you're gonna be very resourceful when you do this. So uh, this is what I do regardless, and I spend a little bit of money on VIP, mainly I spend money on VIP, um, but I'm still very resourceful because I wanna get most of the bang for my most buck right here. So uh, I go to the calendar and I see when the next trade bar uh, discount is going to be. And I pretty much just hold my trade bars until that discount, which will be February 17th to the 24th. And that means that when you look at the trade bar store, that your mountain upgrade tokens, instead of costing for three, it'll be two. So that's pretty huge when uh, you're cheating uh, 250 trade bars 125 of it of those mount upgrade tokens can be right there so that'd be a huge chunk gone right there that you don't have to worry about and then you can try to get a legendary mount from the auction house for about less than 400k save up um, quite a bit for just doing um, reapers challenge if you feel like you cannot do the reapers challenge and you need more mount upgrade tokens then uh, the mount upgrade tokens they ebb and flow on the auction house just about two days ago i looked at this it was down to 33k uh per 10 pack so this definitely ebb and flows i've seen it go from down to 33k all the way up to 100k per pack so uh this is something that you just need to keep your eye on if you're trying not to spend real life money if again that's totally fine if you do not want to do that i definitely respect any kind of player um i just came from games like everquest um and you bought a subscription and i spent hundreds of dollars on subscriptions um so i definitely think if you can just rationalize if you could spend ten dollars on one month of vip and if you don't even want to spend that much just pray and you can get your bag and then you can open up all your bags and you can you get a 20 percent discount to any item you can make it eight dollars then you can get uh, a key each day and you can open up a lockbox so the bare minimum that you can get from the lockbox for tray bars for the newer ones is 25 uh, trade bars as the bare minimum that you will always get I had one free one right here and uh, still have a little bit left but right uh, 1400 uh, trade bars built up so it is definitely worth uh, doing uh, if you're just trying to think of like I'm just going to do one time spend it I think for a new player it is very most beneficial but again if you are like I don't want to spend money that's totally fine it's just a little bit more of a grind and it's a little longer process this just really speeds it up and I think this is definitely just a good way to get to 50k much easier and just kind of less of a hassle and you can just then enjoy the rest of the game uh, while then you can build AD and get different sorts of um, uh, different kinds of ways of avenues to get better uh, item level because just like this if you are a little 50k you can do Reaper's Challenge then you can save up 30 and you could get yourself a legendary companion you can get yourself uh, I really wouldn't go too much for the legendary mount since again most of them cost uh, less than you know a mil at that point but um there are some on here that are just rock solid like the swarm uh t-rex you know things that will really help out in dungeons but if you're trying to start out then um then you know 
some up mount companions that are already legendary can help out. Um, again, trade bars are just rock solid, so I would definitely always, I'm definitely going towards trade bars if I was starting out. But yeah, so uh, I think overall that mainly could help you uh, increase your item level right there. Um, I just know for myself and this daily grind that I've been doing on this character is uh, doing my randoms. So I've uh, been doing uh, before 40k just uh, doing much as high as I can but you um, so yeah so you can do whatever you want but I can only did I can only do dungeon skirmish and advance and that got me about uh, you know quite a bit of AD a little bit above half of my AD that I could get um, but if this is all you can do if you're below 40k then you should do all of these three so you can get your seals as much seals as you can and then you need to go to Undermountain, do your Emmys, uh, go to Valenhaus, and do Bell Runs to get the remaining, uh, remaining AD, rough AD that you've not refined. Getting 100k a day, uh, 100k rough AD each day is like your goal. Um, then go to Valenhaus, see when the next insurgent's going to be. Um, then. Uh, just do that, save up those heroic claims, then look at your legacy campaign and see what you need to do in your legacy campaign and look at your legacy campaign quest and turn those in for uh, turn those in for the glyph of potency since that will help up increase your item level for uh, your enchantments so that would be a great way to help right there if you got lucky and from praying or uh, getting your experience bar uh, you can get uh, coalescent motes that way um, but I've definitely seen it happen it's definitely happened for me both those ways right there but like overall that's a very easy way to try to help build your character I uh, I really do hope that you all enjoyed uh, this, these suggestions. Um, if you have any questions, please write in the comments. I've been really enjoying all this uh, positive feedback. If you all uh, need an alliance, if you feel like, again, you need uh, somewhere to call home, uh, Knights Radiant is always uh, welcoming any kind of level of player um, we do casual gameplay all the way to the uh, work into the newest dungeon the newest trial is definitely challenging but it's fun um, but we're always looking for new members and trying to help players grow in any kind of way in any level that they want to do um, but please just message me if you want to and uh, thank you all so much for listening, and uh, I hope to hear from you all soon. Thank you.